Well, it is a way that all of us uh, can come together uh, on a single issue uh, for a single cause uh, that is uh, uh, undeniably important to all of us and to our country and to our future. Uh, our country is so divided these days, but this one is a unifying uh, a cause and, and, and a great energy because no matter if you're rich or poor, old or young, black or white, uh, conservative or, or liberal, uh, you, you cannot help but respond to a national need. And it brings us all uh, together in a sense that we, we have a common shared experience. And there's so much division that anything that tends to unite us uh, we really have to embrace, for our own sake. It's very important that veterans uh, understand that we, we revere them, we cherish them, we welcome them home, uh, not with any sense of pity, but on the contrary, a sense of pride and a, a, a sense of, of common compassion, you know, what, if, if the bottom line of their contribution is to awaken within us a, a universal feeling of no longer being able to ignore the suffering of others, we are able to, in a sense, express our gratitude by embracing something that we would otherwise not have that there is a, as I said before, a unifying factor in, in all of our returning veterans, male and female, uh, old, and older guys and, you know, career officers and enlisted men, the wounded and the psychologically, emotionally wounded. All of them are a reflection of who we are. And they give us an opportunity really to help heal ourselves by focusing on their needs, because in doing so, we really heal our own. So there, there really, there, there can't be any, uh, uh, you know, a doubt about how absolutely vital this is for us, those of us who do not know the battlefield, do not uh, have any other uh, connection to these veterans except a common pride, a common humanity, and a common compassion. You know, my family, I came from a very large uh, family. We were nine boys, one girl, and I, I'm one of only two in my family that did not serve, but I had a, a brother who was a combat Marine in uh, Korea, and uh, he was a, a good 10 years older than me, so when he came home from um, uh, Korea, uh, you know the the difference in his uh, his his whole character was very evident to us. First of all, he made me very proud, and I bragged about him endlessly. But getting to know him and to uh, gradually come to embrace his uh, uh, his needs, mostly psychological. He he was wounded, but not severely. But the psychological wound, because he was in combat for over a year in Korea. And he returned when I was just starting my teenage years, 13, in 1953. And he was a very good amateur golfer. He wanted to be a professional. Uh, so I started caddying for him. And we formed a very, very close relationship. And he stayed my hero the rest of his life. Uh, and uh, two other brothers that were closer to me uh, were both Vietnam veterans. And one in particular, uh, my brother John, Sorry. He's a, he's a Marine corpsman in Vietnam. Vietnam. He, he lost most of his friends. And um, he, uh, he came home to a, a, a great uh, deal of difficulty and, and rehabilitation psychologically, emotionally, and he did it. And he, he, he's another hero. And, uh, He's still alive, and uh, he was the first guy in our family to go into AA. 
and I followed him. And I followed him in a lot of other areas too. And uh, one time I was in uh, New Mexico. My wife's an artist, and she was doing a seminar in Albuquerque, and uh, she sent me to the store to pick up some uh, paint supplies, you know, at this place. And there was a guy in the store, and he came up to me and he said, uh, did, did you have a brother in uh, Vietnam? And I said, yeah. He said, your real name is Estevez. And I said, yes. He said, you have a brother named John? I said, yes. He said, he saved my life. <sighs> I said, uh, he never told me that. So I, I said, give me your name and number. And uh, I gave it to my brother John. I said, this guy claims he, he, uh, he uh, saved your life, you, you saved his life. And, and, and he said, well, let me give him a call. We'll, I haven't talked to him for a while. And that's all he said, you know. I assume he made contact. He never mentioned it again. But uh, at any rate, uh, I, I, uh, I think of John and Mike. Mike is deceased now, but uh, I think of these guys. And my brother Joe, who's a fellow actor and also a Vietnam veteran. But John was a, a med corpsman and with a Marine. He joined the Marines right out of high school, think, he wanted to be a doctor, and he thought, well, you know. And then while he was in the Marines, uh, he, the Gulf of Tonkin happened, and uh, he was in the Navy. He didn't join the Marines, he, but the Navy uh, gave up all their corpsmen to the Marines when they went into combat, and he was one of them. He had never trained or fired a weapon, you know. He, he was down at Pendleton, and the next thing he knew, he was in Vietnam, but uh, he had life-changing experiences every day there, you know. And he's, he's become one of the most joyful, free human beings I know, enviable joy. When I think of him, that's the term I use, enviable joy. And uh, he's a free man. And again, he's one of my heroes, so I'm delighted to do this for him. I'm Chris Marvin, and I'm the managing director of the Got Your Six campaign. Got Your Six is a collective campaign to ensure that veterans are seen as leaders and civic assets. Veterans are people who can come home and reinvigorate our communities, but civilians need to hold veterans to high expectations and challenge them to fill roles as, as assets and leaders when they come home. Today we're on site uh, at the Academy Awards in Hollywood. Uh, we are filming our annual PSA uh, and, and getting uh, talent and, and folks who are rehearsing to come over and uh, film a PSA with us real quick. Uh, it's the third year we've done it and we're really grateful to the Academy for, for their support and of course to all the folks in the industry that are helping out Got Your Six. So this year's PSA uh, takes it a step further than our previous PSAs. And in our first year, we really wanted to introduce the campaign and introduce the term Got Your Six. In our second year, we talked about uh, the idea that Got Your Six was more than just a military term. It was an idea that Americans could embrace. And now we're focusing on really moving the, the, the message forward, right? Creating a movement. And, uh, and we're working on a tagline called Wage Good. Right? We, we know that veterans were trained in their military time to wage war, but they're also trained to wage leadership and teamwork and compassion. Uh, and all of these things equate to this idea of waging good. And when veterans come home, they can teach civilians how to wage good in their communities. And civilians can stand next to their veterans and wage good as well. So we hope that it's, uh, it's an idea that will really catch on uh, as a hashtag, as a saying, as a, as a t-shirt design maybe. Uh, just this idea that waging good uh, is something that all Americans can do alongside veterans and inspired by veterans. Our team at Got Your Six has worked very hard with a lot of our entertainment industry partners to secure some top-line talent to be in our PSA this year. Um, you know, Martin Sheen was, was just with us and we're expecting to work with uh, Bradley Cooper and, and Anne Hathaway and, and Bette Midler and, and some other amazing folks who are lending their time and their energy to help get the Got Your Six message out there. You know, we have a hard job. We're trying to change 
cultural perceptions for veterans, move it away from this narrative where veterans are charity cases who need our pity, and moving it towards a narrative that is, that is really more true, that the veterans are leaders in civic assets. And there's no better way to push that message forward than through the voice of folks in the entertainment industry who, who people recognize and listen to. Um, and we hope that by bringing these people together around this single message, Americans will hear and start to understand uh, that it's, it's a nuanced change, but that it's not about charity for veterans. Uh, it's not about what we can do for veterans. It's about what veterans can do for our community. It's really important, but we, we have a great platform to speak from. And the people that we work with from the entertainment industry, they are some of the most creative, talented people that we have in this country. It's why they are where they are. Uh, it's why we're very privileged to work with them. And, and, and they're able to come in, and, and they know a little bit about the campaign, uh, but just you know, talking to them and giving them the PSA script, they really start to get it. Right? They're able to process, I think faster than most Americans, that, that nuanced message that veterans shouldn't be seen as, as charity cases, that they must be empowered to be leaders. And that comes through uh, you know, with, with someone like Martin Sheen, who's, who's on set in front of camera talking about our, our message, using our talking points. And, and you can tell that there's passion there. Um, you know, and, and for, someone like, for someone like Martin Sheen, he had three brothers who served in the military. Uh, and, and, and it really came from the heart. And we see this over and over. When we can engage somebody, when we can just have a brief amount of time to explain what we do and why we do it, they get it. And, and not everybody in this country has a chance to have a conversation with a veteran or to really sort of you know, dive into some of our, uh, our thoughts and our talking points about who veterans are. So hopefully what we can do with, with something like a PSA, using entertainment industry talent, is reach out to people who don't have a first degree connection to veterans and allow them to start to understand why it's so important to uh, hold veterans to high expectations and to, and to think of them as, as assets for our communities and for our country. We're so privileged for the third year in a row to be able to leverage the Oscar weekend and the rehearsals to film our PSA. And that's really great for us because you have all, the, all, you know, all these talented folks in one place at one time. But it's also the busiest weekend of the year for them, right? So these are people who are, who are preparing to rehearse so they can present awards or be part of the, uh, the Academy's show. Um, and we're getting them to, to come over to, to our set and to, to spend some time with us to do this PSA you know, in the midst of all the running around they're doing. And so we are in, you know, incredibly grateful uh, not only to the folks that are coming over and, and their publicists and their agents who help us get them, but to the Academy for sort of lending us the inside track on, on knowing who's here and who might be willing to do this. We've found that with almost, with almost no exceptions, if we can uh, ask somebody to do this and if they have time, then they're going to make time for Got Your Six. They know who we are and, and what we're doing, and they understand the, the relevance we have working with the major studios, networks, and agencies in Hollywood. And, and we want to be the, uh, the, the veteran movement for the entertainment industry and really for the whole country. Uh, so the fact that people make time for us, it, it's humbling, um, and it's really powerful to get our message across. And uh, you know, we're really grateful to everybody who participates on this really, really busy Oscar weekend. I hope you enjoyed taking a look behind the scenes at the filming of our Got Your Six PSA. To learn more about Got Your Six and the movement we're building, please visit gotyoursix.org. And thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how you can be involved with the Got Your Six campaign, go to gotyoursix.org and check out our calls to action. It's ways that everyday Americans can show that they've been inspired by veterans. I thought it was important to lend my voice to the Got Your Six campaign because I have a lot of family uh, that are in the service. I have a lot of family that grew up on army bases. I have a cousin in the Navy. And they're all really, really good people that just want to be able to help their community. I think it's a, a really important cause to support uh, veterans that just want to be assets to their community because that's what they're there for. Uh, you know, military and you know all these branches of government are not about it's not just about waging war it's about 
building community and helping your fellow man. And I think any organization that, that lends to that and to that idea is really important to take part in. To me, the term wage good means to do come from a really, really good place in your heart and to put that into the world and to, to do no harm, really. I, I, I think it's a very important group of people to support as, as uh, I mean, why do they put their lives on the line to protect me? You know, <laughs> that's a much, much more important question, uh, probably a better answer. But yeah, for me, I, simply because I was asked and, yeah, incredibly necessary. Well, I believe that if people, you know, see the best in people, then we, we should get the best out of people. And so to, to, to view someone as charity uh, when they're anything but, when they're, you know, very strong mentally, strong physically, male, males and females, it seems, seems like those are assets that we could, uh, we could benefit from back here, as much as we benefit from it over there.
I've got your six. Great. strengthen our communities as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends. The Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the Pacific. Okay, go back. Yep. The Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the civilian-military divide and helping return veterans and realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us wage good at gotyour6.org. Can we do one more? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, and then I think. I've got your six. Great. Yeah. Uh, you know, good back. It's right. depressing. Was there, was it the third or second one? Right. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a, a, yes. <laughs> They were doing well. I didn't get that excited. I, you know, I, I never really followed it. You know, like just because I, I, I had to this year. Right. Yeah. Train, wage, passion, and problem solving, and understand. Our military veterans were trained to wage good, and as they return home. We have a chance, a chance to join them and wage good for all of us by empowering our veterans to strengthen our community as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends. The Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the civilian military divide and helping returning veterans realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us at wa help us wage good at gotyoursix.org. I'll do that. Yep. Wait, um, do you need to trade through? I mean, no. Nope. So we everyone's phones <laughs> off and such. <laughs> hey, Greg. Yes. What if, what if his body is fairly square? I mean, it's just over short. Sure. Why don't we just... Yeah, why don't we do... Camera speed? Camera speed. All right, Jason, anytime you're ready. For more than a decade, our country has been at war. And as our service members were trained to wage war, they were also trained to wage leadership and loyalty and teamwork. They were trained to wage compassion and problem solving and understanding. Our military veterans were trained to wage good, and as they return home, we have a chance to join them and wage good for all Americans by empowering our veterans to strengthen our communities as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends. The Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the civilian military divide and helping returning veterans Realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us wage good at gotyour6.org. Awesome. So by empowering our veterans to strengthen our communities as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends, the Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging a civilian military divide, helping returning veterans realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us wage good. Help us wait to have got your six questions about that. Prompter good? Yep. Okay. So uh camera good? Uh, roll everything. All good. Okay. You Anytime you're good. ready, Mr. Travers. For more than a decade our country has been at war. And as our service members were trained to wage war, 
They were also trained to wage leadership and loyalty and teamwork. They were trained to wage compassion and problem solving and understanding. Our military veterans were trained to wage good. And as they return home, we have a chance to join them and wage good for all Americans. By empowering our veterans to strengthen our communities as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends, the Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the civilian military divide and helping returning veterans realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us wage good at gotyoursix.org. Great. Hey, Greg. Yes. So why don't you practice one another? For more than a decade, our country has been at war. And as our service members were trained to wage you know? war, they were also trained to wage leadership and loyalty and teamwork. They were trained to wage compassion and problem solving and understanding. Our military veterans were trained to wage good. And as they return home, we have a chance, we have a chance to join them and wage good <laughs> For more than a decade, why am I saying decade so weirdly? For more than a decade, our country has been at war. And as our service members were trained to wage war, they were also trained to wage leadership and loyalty and teamwork. They were trained to wage compassion. They were trained to wage com compassion. <laughs> For more than a decade, our country has been at war, and as our service members were trained to wage war, they were also trained to wage leadership and loyalty and teamwork. They were trained to wage compassion and problem solving and understanding. Our military veterans were trained to wage good, and as they return home, we have a chance to join them and wage good for all Americans by empowering our veterans to strengthen our communities as volunteers and first responders, as teachers and small business owners, as neighbors and friends. The Got Your Six campaign is dedicated to waging good by bridging the civilian military divide and helping returning veterans realize their true potential as leaders and community assets. Help us wage good at Got Your Six Great. Can we get a safety of that as well? 